Hi guys, today we're going to read Dan Santat's After the Fall, How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again. But before we read How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up, some people know, may not know what happened to Humpty Dumpty. So let me pull up the original nursery rhyme that's almost 200 years old. It is an old, old rhyme. It's only four lines. So here it goes. <clears throat> this is the original. Move me out of the way. It says, Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. What does Humpty Dumpty look like to you? What do you think? Kind of looks like an egg, doesn't he? It was originally never said that Humpty Dumpty was an egg. It's thought that maybe this poem came into being as a riddle. And the answer was to guess that Humpty Dumpty was an egg. But it's not known exactly what the origin story of this is. Now, in 1870, a little more than 150 years ago, somebody set this to music. So I'm sitting here actually at a piano so that we can learn the song. I'm gonna do it first and then we'll do it in pieces and do it again together at the end. Are you ready? I'm going to leave the words up here so you can follow along. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put hum Humpty together again. Okay, now I'll do one line and then I'll play it so you can do the line, okay? We'll do it, take it just one line at a time. So we're gonna do the first line. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall and it goes like this. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Now your turn. And the next line is Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And it goes like this. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Your turn. The next line is all the king's horses and all the king's men. All the king's horses and all the king's men. Now your turn. And then the last line is, couldn't put Humpty together again. Couldn't put Humpty together again. Your turn. Nice. Let's do it one time all together. Are you ready? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now, if that song was published in 1870, how old is it? That's right, you just learned a song that's more than 150 years old. Let's go over and read our story now. Okay, I'm gonna get us set up right over here. And let's turn on a light. So I, I wanna make sure you can see the pages on this story. This is one of the California Young Readers Award nominees. The author of this book is Dan Santat. Dan Santat is actually a local to Los Angeles 
author and illustrator. I got the chance to meet him a couple years ago and he was just a really nice guy, a regular guy. He's got a couple kids um, and he writes and illustrates books. Sometimes he is the author. Sometimes he is the illustrator. Sometimes he is both. In this book, he has done both. So this is called Dan Santat After the Fall, How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again. Now I would show you a picture of Dan Santat, but this is the picture that he has included. That is not what he looks like now. That's what he looked like as a little boy. This book is um, written with permission of Roaring Brook Press. That's the publisher. Now, because Mr. Santat is the author and the illustrator, you gotta pay a lot of attention to this title page because the story kind of starts here on the title page. What's about to happen? Looks like Humpty is just about to fall off that wall. There he goes. Hi, my name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot, high up on the wall. I know, it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then one day, I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks call it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident, but it changed my life. Now, this is a little different from the original story. Here he is at the Kings County Hospital, and it says, fortunately, all the King's men managed to put me back together again, or to put me back together. Well, most of me. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. Now I want you to look at that picture. What is Humpty Dumpty doing? He's got a pillow and a blanket and he's on the floor. Kind of looks like he's gonna sleep on the floor. Why do you think he's not gonna sleep in his bed? What parts of him do you think were not fixed by the bandages and glue? the inside. After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. Now look carefully at these cereal boxes. The more fun cereal boxes are up here. Look at some of the names down here. This one is no fun. This one is Sad Clown. Here it's grown up food, but he's afraid of heights, so he won't go up the ladder to get them. So he just takes this one off the bottom. He's taking bow rings, like boring bow rings. I walk past that wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really missed the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it because I know, knew that accidents can happen. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. What does he see up there with his binoculars? A paper airplane. Have you ever made paper airplanes? Sometimes I make them. Sometimes they fly and sometimes they go straight down. Making planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches, but day after day, I kept trying and trying until I got it just right. Look at that paper airplane. 
That's kind of amazing. He really worked on that. My plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents happen. They always do. Uh-oh, what's happening to his plane? Oh, look where it landed. It's right on top of the wall. I almost walked away again. But then I thought about all the time I'd spent working on my plane and all the other things I'd missed. I decided I was going to climb that wall. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. Do you think he's going to be brave and finish it? I didn't look up. I didn't look down. I just kept climbing one step at a time until I was no longer afraid. Maybe now you won't think of me as the egg who was famous for falling. Hopefully, you'll remember me as the egg who got back up. Now look really carefully here. What's going on? Oh my goodness. And learned how to fly. He hatched into a bird and now he can fly. Look at that, there he goes. Wow, have you ever had a time where something happened and you were afraid to try something again? One of the things I think about when I think of that was learning to ride my bike. I fell and got scratched up and I didn't want to try it again. I was really scared of falling. But then I realized all my friends were getting to go bike riding and I was missing out because of my fear. So eventually I was brave and I kept trying. It wasn't, I was brave and I got on and I was great at it. It still took some work, but I kept trying and I was brave and eventually I was able to go and bike ride with my friends. I, I love thinking about Humpty Dumpty, not as the egg who fell off the wall, but as the egg who got back up and can remind us to be brave and get back up when we need to. I hope you guys enjoyed After the Fall, as well as our original Humpty Dumpty story and song. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Take care.